Hi, I'm Simone Sala. I'm a postdoc here at Max4, which is the Swedish synchrotron facility. I work at uh, Nanomax. Now we're now standing in the control room of uh, Nanomax, which is the hard X-ray nanoprobe beamline here at Max4. The peculiarity of Nanomax is that we can deliver a high flux of coherent photons focused down to between 50 and 100 nanometers, which allows for unprecedented uh, science at the nanoscale. All of our experiments are based on diffraction or fluorescence or a combination of the two. Given that we usually collect 2D maps of our samples, uh, they usually fall into the wider category of uh, X-ray microscopy. Of course, at Nanomax, we're also able to uh, perform experiments which require a highly coherent beam, such as CDI and tachography. Using these techniques, researchers can recover structural and morphological information as well as chemical information on their samples. This allows them to obtain 2D maps of things like electron density and crystallographic phase and elemental distribution within regions of interest which are typically a few micrometers wide. The experiments we perform here aim at answering a range of scientific questions coming from many fields, such as uh, solid-state physics and material science, or physical chemistry and catalysis, earth science and paleontology, life science and medicine. Just to name a few examples, uh, we have users coming here to identify and characterize crystallographic phases within low-dimensional uh, synthetic materials, such as thin films and nanowires. We also have users uh, that are interested in investigating and characterizing phase transitions within uh, materials such as uh, spent catalytic cells or solar cells or electrochemical cells, but also within uh, biogenic hierarchical structures such as wood and bone, all in order to correlate the structural changes to the macroscopic properties of these samples. We're now in the KBN station of Nanomax. For all the techniques I've mentioned before, we have a range of detectors. For the forward scattering, we have inline detectors which we position along the beam path, either in wax geometry, so as close as possible to the sample, or in the far field. Then we have a Bragg detector which is mounted on a movable robot arm which we use to monitor uh, local strain and defects in our samples. And then we have a fluorescence detector which is sitting as close as possible to the sample. The whole setup is in air, uh, which uh, means that we are able to record a fluorescent signal from elements with atomic number from 15 above, uh, that is to say uh, from phosphor upwards all the way through decay or L edges of transition metals. There's enough room at the sample position to accommodate for user designed cells, which can provide uh, for variable or control uh, conditions such as temperature, pressure or atmosphere and voltage for example. This implies that uh, in situ experiments are possible at Nanomax, which are aimed at correlating structural changes to the variable conditions that we apply on the samples. We have a two circle uh, goniometer stage, which we use to orient and align the sample for the Bragg conditions. Within the past year, we've also commissioned a smaller rotation stage, which normally sits on top of the uh, sample stack which is compatible with tomography type experiments, which are now also regularly offered to users. Uh, in particular for tachographic X-ray computer tomography, which we, we demonstrated to be feasible here at Nanomax 2. Within the past year, we've also commissioned an Iger detector, which features smaller pixels and can withstand the full flux of a direct beam, which means that now we can measure faster and with a higher resolution than before. A customized helium-filled flight tube uh, is available for the Bragg geometry, whereas for the forward geometry, a vacuum flight tube will be available to users from the fall of 2020. Beamline parameters and specifications can be found on Nanomax's webpage under user information, which we update before every user proposal call. And you might have heard this from other beamlines and synchrotrons already, but it's always a good idea to get in touch with the beamline staff before submitting a user proposal. And I would personally encourage you to get in touch, uh, even just to discuss new ideas you might have for ex potential experiments so that we can assess them together. Thank you, and I'm looking forward to see you at Nanomax.